Libra, welcome to your love reading for September 2022. Um, I'm going to break it down a little bit and just in case I would need to um, clarify, I will be using the Amira's Love Oracle and Kipper deck. So let's go ahead and start with signs that you might be dealing with or influencing your love life for September 2022. We have the Moon. We have Uranus. And we have... Is it Pisces or Gemini? This is Pisces. Okay. So that could be significant. Someone might have Moon in Pisces or um, Uranus in Pisces, or those planets or just signs would be like significant. All right. So let's see here. We have Bridget, Inspiration. Follow your passion and urges. And we have Opportunity. We have divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will, follow the Tao, and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant, abundance, not chase it. Okay, it should be abundant, right? Not abundance. Okay, and we have dating. And angel of abundance. Oh my god, there's just double abundance. A steady flow of abundance is about to manifest for you. And... Okay, so this is your overall energy towards love for September. It looks like you're going to have several opportunities heading your way for dating people. Um, I'm seeing it as a, you're very, um, like you're attracting. I think you're putting yourself out there more. And I have a feeling there's like two or more people heading your way because there's like double... Or you're going to be meeting someone that's going to be um, like a high level soulmate. So let's um, carry on. We have Know Your Power, that horse energy, passion. We have Pay Attention to Red Flags. The signs are cautioning you. So make sure whoever um, you're seeing dating um, really like engulfing, like sort of like... An, like inviting in your life make sure they're not toxic or they don't have any toxic tendencies or just um, be sure because I'm been reading a lot of news and there's just a lot of like crazy stuff happening out there right now um, we have control party uh, external party we have better boundaries and we have quality time together um, okay so this could be someone that you meet through um, like partying or through a friend. Also, I'm getting here that there might be a power struggle between you guys, but it's a very passionate relationship with horse here. I'm seeing it as Mars energy, so that's a lot of passion, that's a lot of fire. Um, uh, you could be dealing with Aries or um, Scorpio energy here. And we have 99 nine and 77, seven. again, um, master numbers so again i'm feeling like this is going to be a high level soulmate and with quality time together i'm sensing that um you ensure that you guys just don't go out just to have fun and don't really have like quality time together where you guys really get to know one another not just on the surface level um because this could be a problem uh like this person might just not want to divulge the real them so party them and like the home buddy them would be like a whole di different persona um and that's something that you need to get to know make sure this person's just not someone that you party with but also someone that's going to be there for you on those like days where you know like let's say um you're down and out make sure this person's going to be there to kind of you know get you soup or something um someone caring and nurturing as well um because I think you've had a problem in the past where it's just kind of surface level relationships and it never really went past that. And I'm also getting um, maybe other people get involved in your business. Um, have boundaries with your friends um, and also whatever advice you get from people um, take it with a grain of salt, especially know who you get your advice from. 
because you can't get an advice a sound one especially if their love life is kind of like out of whack like they have toxic behavior and they would really tell you oh yeah just um, move on and um, but you feel like you don't want to because it feels um, very powerful like I'm also getting that maybe that's happened in the past okay so let's see um, Amira actually what's coming to Libra for September please Shinja Michael again control oh my god and then gossip all right so what is this why is this here okay this person where you are would be probably a little bit older than you maybe even five year gap or this is um I'm hearing life path number or it's either you or this person would be mature like just in the sense maybe you guys are at the same age but their level of thinking is kind of like a, you know like a 60 year old and then we have privileged lady um i'm seeing this also as the uh so maybe ensure that you're just not with someone or someone's with you um because they just see you as a hot commodity um with control here this might be someone that likes to kind of control you who you need to go out with um but also i'm just sensing this 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 is this is your friends also um controlling the situation because they might not like the person that you're with uh let's go ahead and get the tarot actually and be curious Just watch out for that controlling energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be there for everyone, but um, just K9 okay, of Cups. So this person um, is gonna come towards you like a wish fulfillment. Um, again, I was getting with the 9977 and then double abundance there. This is gonna be not only an abundant relationship, but it's a very um, divinely guided as well. You could be dealing with a Virgo or Virgos in your chart. We have Ace of Swords. And then we have the High Priestess. Okay, so two Major Arcana and two really, really good ones. Okay, so when you date this person, um, you might be brought together to kind of burn off like a karmic thing that you guys do. You, you probably have a side that's kind of toxic and they would have a side that's kind of toxic and you kind of, you two will burn each other off in that, that toxicity. And there might be one karmic cycle or two and then once those karmic ties are burned off, you guys will come together like as a that I'm really getting this is a high level soulmate and this person will marry you in a sense where they will like the the sword here they will kind of reflect that shiny bit of the sword where um it shows you the toxic side of you and you'd be doing the same to them um you guys will probably have a moment of reprieve where you guys will um maybe stop talking with each other but this is because you guys need enlightenment healing and then once you guys gained that enlightenment and healing you guys will come together um maybe even a high priestess um harfant couple very intuitive very connected with the divine um not only is this a very high level soulmate but also this person will ignite a, a fire within you that you've never experienced before so getting addicted to this person's energy and the same with them you guys getting addicted to each other is going to be maybe one of the toxic things that you guys have to deal with so watch out for that okay um again but this is such a beautiful thing i don't know if you've already met this person or it's about to um, evolve to the next phase um but you guys with horse energy here you guys are chariot like about to 
meet each other head on or about to like um i'm hearing transits and you guys are about to meet somewhere in between so maybe this is where you guys um maybe like traveling and it's gonna be like the airport it's like in between before the final destination so i don't know what that means truly that could mean all sorts of things so maybe you're about to head to a job and that you meet this person that might change your mind or you're about to commit to someone place or thing that would require a long lasting effect and you meet this person sort of to kind of give you a different perspective in life but this is truly beautiful so let's go ahead and see i'm not really seeing anything toxic or something that you should be worried about except for the fact with the double control and um the gossip and the um the partying i'm just have a feeling like it's like the external party is really just shit stir um heading your way or about to um be a full-on problem for you um let's go ahead and see um initials here Libra, please we have e ed oh my god why am i getting a tell this function oh yeah. <laughs> this eddie <laughs> Ed? um hope not like that would be unfortunate but um anyway okay let's get, get this one we have q i'm getting qatar s a south africa someone might listen to sade um it's safe with this first person it feels very safe maybe it feels like home um, San Diego even this could be a doctor or someone in the medical field um, Sam someone famous with fame um, yeah I'm just seeing the dam like it's going to be like a dam of emotion okay so Let's go ahead and finish with guidance from your guides and your angels we have believe the best is yet to come we have power animal your animal spirit god is a guardian to you and is helping you with a situation we have knight of ariel trustworthy understanding devoted funny there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind and we have seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. So if there's someone controlling you, um, when it comes to who who you date, um, who not to date, make sure you really like stand up for um, for yourself. Because if you don't, no one ever will. Um, I just have a feeling like the environment that you're in, or just the people that you surround yourself, it might have like so much to say when it comes to your love your love life or who your date i have a feeling also as well like this has happened before and they're gonna try to do the same thing with this new one so just watch out um because at the end of the day you're the you're going to be the one you know like dealing with um, your person so you know your person better than anyone so don't let like a small um hindrance be it like a fight or a disagreement like hinder you seeing the bigger picture here because um i have a feeling like this person coming your way um someone wants this this is a person that someone wants to um commit to someone also this is someone that is um again be, being brought to you to burn off a karmic uh, toxic thing that you guys need to kind of get rid of and it's gonna come to a full circle where you guys will um, come together with trust and really building from like 
the clean energy where you guys are very connected to the divine um, very intuitive couple as well so this is all i have for you libra for september 2022 um good luck with everything and have a great week bye